welcome to the session on leading your family and business during global crisis during last two months we have witnessed the world has changed because of coronavirus the world has faced this kind of situation for the first time and we are experiencing in our personal life as well in the business we have never seen this kind of situation of lockdown working from home and not having any business activity not having any social gatherings in india and in the globe for the first time we are working under lots of stress anxiety and worry people are not uh, giving their 100% in this time they are worried about their tomorrow they are worried about their family their business and the society many business owners are coming to me and asking me that how long the situation will continue and i i in this crisis uh, tell them that dear friends don't worry all crisis comes with some opportunity first advice i give them is believe in yourself take care of yourself take rest enough food and uh, then cool and calm and think about the situation that we are facing in the world corona has changed the way we lived and worked it has impacted on our psychological uh, family life and uh, community and business too the basic objective of today's session is to know about the current situation to understand business and prepare a strategy to cope up with the situation a uh, family uh, we have to keep our family ready to fight against the corona situation come out of the stress and uh, taking care of our near and dear that is the objective of this session now we have to see we have to first keep ourselves safe and then we have to work about our business and about family and our economy the government of india is doing wonderful job in this crisis time all officials working day in and day out to cope up with the corona situation but i advise you we have to work within ourselves and we have to think about three questions basic questions to come out of the situation the first question is how my how corona is impacting my business how corona uh, is impacting my customers business the services i give to them because if i'll understand my customers mindset my customers needs and wants and their behavioral change i can solve them better i can make differences necessary changes in my own business and third very interesting thing that is very very essential in this situation is how corona will impact my family my personal lifestyle once you are think through about these three questions when you are quarantined at your home please give your own time on this questions and look about the situations what you can change how you can change about the situations i know the time is very difficult for you your people your family your employee everybody has a different expectations from you they expect that you will change and you will continue with this situation but i know the situation is for the first time for you i know your mindset because i have talked with so many business owners family business owners and their mindset is that we too are facing this situation for the first time in our life yes but i i request you please to look, go back and look into your past you have faced so many challenges in your life that were first time for your life if you will just look and say that oh i could face that challenges and i have overcome that challenges in my life that will give you a strength so my first advice to you as a family business owner as a leader of your family is to believe in yourself once you will believe in yourself you will get the strength and you will take care of your family now your role is to tell your stories to your child to your next generation to your family members about the different challenges that you have faced in your life and that challenges were also for 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 the first time in your life once they will listen they will get confidence and they will believe you 
they will believe in your leadership and i'm sure together you are capable enough to manage this situation once you are clear about your mindset cool down and think about the questions but the situation is a different for you for so that your strategy should be different for facing these challenges i will advise you when you look at this situation you please ask the three questions and take one paper and pen and note down all the challenges that you have to face during this crisis time i know there are n number of questions coming into your mind you may have some mortgage you have to pay your emi your workers have left for their hometown and they are not with you so that's a big challenges your logistic is not working properly your raw material is not reaching to you pro on a, on time and you have n number of challenges coming on your way so if i i i i talk about this challenges with so many people and one gentleman come with a big diary noting down thousand of challenges yes this slide will tell you the right thing it's something like that you are carrying the elephant in your hand and you answer me so this is a very difficult situation we are not able to carry the load of elephant yes agree that you are not able to carry the load of the elephant in your hand but now you have to respond to the situation and you look back and prioritize your things out of this list thousand list you see how individual uh, problem affect your business as well as your uh, family life as well to the market and your current customers position if you are thinking to it you have to minimize you have to look uh, on two aspect what are my what are the challenges that are important to you and what are the challenges urgent to solve if you will put in on important base and another side you will write on the urgency side then you can prioritize your things at this moment you should not think about why corona why this kind of economic situation don't waste your time people are there negative people are thinking about all negativity and trying to give you more and more stress and anxiety and they will not uh, you know give you support to your systems instead of that you have to think positively and you have to think how can what i can do how i can do when i can start my job where i can start my job if you will think positively and you think who are the supporting systems who are the persons who will come as my support systems focus on possibilities focus on what needs to do immediately only about your few priorities you select that you need to focus on the day of reopening of your business if you will think about the challenges that you need to think on the reopening of the challenge or reopening of your business or for the first week or the first month of your business i think they are very small and that are manageable if we will look at to that now you have the list of all the challenges list of your prioritizes you have talk all the challenges with your employee with your key employee with your team with your family executives and even with the investors who are associated with you in your business now with all these uh, views and all these difficulties you prepare one fact sheet now you in this fact sheet you will go for or gathering various data you will gather various authentic fact about the challenges that you need to focus and with this data and your prioritize based on your what is important and what is urgent you see what i can what i know and on another side of the paper you write down what i don't know what is not in my control what i cannot when you will you know by forget this you please focus on what you can what's in your control and please constantly monitor what is not in your control what you cannot constantly monitoring will help you to know the changes that is external changes happening in the market uh, about that now you once you have this fact sheet 
you please do one more exercise with your all priorities you give uh, weights to your challenges from 1 to 5 1 is the minimum important and 5 is the maximum so when you have prepared the matrix based on the 1 to 5 weighted average calculated of your priorities now you will have a very limited things to focus on the day of reopening of the economy so that now your challenges are very very uh, minimized that is maximum within your limit when you prepare the list of to do with all these exercise at that time you have to see various alternatives available with you you have to see uh, open-mindedly you have to communicate constantly with your team with your executive with your family with your investors who are in the business who are your business associates and you have to prepare a strategy policies process and structure for the first week don't think about too long period at this moment see what are the things I have to do on the first day what are the things I have to do on the first week what are the things I have to do on the first month three month six month and maximum for the one year now that's clear in your mind as a business leader as a family leader people have lots of expect expectations from you for them you are the hero of your family your business your market and they they consider you as a headlight of your vehicle whenever they are driving that vehicle they need that kind of light in the time of dark because you are the person who give them constant support and guidance and the direction they need it so please involve them now you have to discuss what you have planned with your family with your investor and with your employee please remember the three circle model that is there in the family business owners once you are discussing all this vision and mission that you have prepared for your first month six month and one year with your family and try to understand their expectations their challenges their ex anxiety their uh, their uh, you know curiosity and then with communication if you can discuss with them i think they will be with you your investors their expectations are different you try to convince them about the current market situation and tell them that your relationship is for the long term don't think about the results of the next quarter or next year because family business is all about managing for the long term i know some of the strength to be remembered at this moment family business are a different business their viewpoint is always long term and not for the next quarter their reason and their lifestyle their lifestyle is frugality they are more committed to their business they are more committed to their employee and their employee they feel that this business is mine when they are thinking that this business is mine I think their operations will be better and your vision now become a vision of your family your investor and your employee so it becomes a shared vision when it becomes a shared vision and everybody believe that we can I'm sure once we can happen in your team you can you will survive in corona i believe personally working with so many large family businesses no challenge of the world is bigger than our own capability but the first thing we have to believe in ourselves but when you are you know developing your shared vision please do not forget to look at your family value your family value is to be taken care and to be discussed and based on your family's value you have to design and structure the strategies for the next three month six month or one year and the first support system you have to create for yourself and for your family and businesses please surround with positive people positive people will give you some energy some spiritual capital some you know new thoughts about coming out of this business situation please remember to involve your next generation in this entire process because this is a great learning for your next generation when your next generation are involving with you they understand how to learn how to manage the business in crisis situation who how to create a, a, a support system in the crisis time 
that's a great learning for them please involve them if even if they are not involved in your business please involve them as observer take them with you when you are going for discussion with when you are communicating with uh, other people only as an observer and if they have already entered in the business ask their views ask their uh, opinions and correct them wherever necessary here you please constantly communicate with your employee because sometime your employee are more connected with the market than the owner you as a owner family business owner you have to change your mindset here in the crisis situation when you look at the business as a owner your mindset is a different you can take any decision you can take any risk but if your mindset is to become a manager not as a owner in that case is you your you cannot take more risk you you are answerable to someone and when your mindset is changed as a manager i think your risk will be many minimized so that change you need to take very interesting slide coming to you is now for success in this entire crisis what needs to do is communicate communicate and communicate because this time is a different time and you have to adopt different challenge uh, different channels for the communication you have to first communicate with your family with your all inside stakeholder as well outside stakeholder as this time is different you it's not like that you communicate with them on a quarterly basis you please involve i give you two words here the one word is are you involving everybody if you are involving everybody in your decision making process and if you understand their concern their the challenges their mindset their stress their anxiety i think and you clarify them i think they'll be with you they'll give you more trust they'll be giving you more respect so please connect with everybody internal as well as external stakeholder that might include your senior management key employees and business associate and of course your shareholders some of them might be an investor and not the part of your family business this slide will give you something about uh, where you want to go how where you want to go how you will go and what strategies you will do and what uh, support system you can do that is uh, given in this slide Please kind of structures policies and process for your own business in crisis what is more important is mental attitude and mindset of the leader you being the leader of the family and the business you have to think from head as well as from heart please balance your hand and head when you are talking about business you please talk first from by heart yes as a leader this time is a different so your communications channel would be different you have to talk with your people in a different way you have to use your head and heart simultaneously you have to use more eq than iq when you are connecting with your people when you understand your business market situation economy properly at that time now to come overcome this challenge who will come to you who will who will be the first person to help you is your family so please develop a honor integrity and um, harmony in your family take responsibility you take the responsibility and motivate your employee to take responsibility i know in this tough time your people may not be ready to take any new responsibility but you tell them that you are with them whenever you are communicating with them as a leader don't talk about the business talk about their family life talk about their concern talk about their stress talk about their family members talk about if somebody is not well in their family if you will settle down their challenges they will be ready to take your challenges on their shoulders and that's way you can achieve your goal by achieving their goal helping them to achieve their goals you must have compassion and forgiveness if there might be some mistakes by somebody in in their work 
please forgive it let go in your family and let go in the business because i personally believe financial loss is not a loss for ever but when anybody whether it's a employee non family executives if he or she is disconnected from you they we lost them for ever now very interesting things is coming to us there are three circle models in family business uh, that through that we can take a decision making process how we can take decision right decision in the business in crisis time many people will come to you and tell you that let's do this instead of that people will advise you to diversify from your main business nothing wrong in diversifying changing your business but i tell you any financial decision that went wrong in the crisis time that will take you back 10 years 5 years or 20 years i don't know it's depend on the size of the risk that you have taken so you prepare one process of decision making fair process of decision making by involving everybody the first questions you should ask at this moment is do we have any opportunity when we are moving to new business or new ideas or new tactics here the opportunities i will focus on the profit roi and new market share if the answer is yes then go and ask the second questions do we all have the capabilities and skills to do this business if answer is yes go ahead if answer is no then try and try to find out the support system from the market people will advise you that yo oh, we will hire this people we will hire this agency and they will support you but twice you should think do the support system is reliable are they visas for longer period if yes then only go ahead so you have to ask two questions and if both the questions answer is yes then the very important questions a red signals coming to you does this opportunity that is matching with your family's value if your family's value say yes please do it nothing wrong to go into that business if your value system does not permit you to do this exercise please don't do it whether you find it is a good business good opportunity good earning or good market don't do it don't do it right so this way you can develop a decision making process for you after you prepare the strategy for your next 3 month 1 month now you have to see in your home when you are talking to them about the hard time about the difficult time of the economy about the industry about the market about the your business and it will definitely affect your lifestyle when you will share all these items with your family members they think that oh this is difficult but i advise you please communicate them understand their queries understand their you know anxiety and the stress and when you are communicating with transparency put all the transparency put all the facts and figures on the table and have a meeting on a regular basis the first and foremost things to survive in uh, in the tough time in the crisis is we should have a regular meeting here the regular meeting may be a daily meeting this meeting should be with your family with your extend this kind of meeting with your investors and your key employees on a daily basis on a weekly basis on a monthly basis because when they know about the facts when they know about the concern of the business when they know about the challenges of the business they will not ask you more questions they'll be with you because they know that if business will survive we all will survive our personal life will be attached with the business success and that will create an emotional attachment with you all and it will not be your decision but it will be a joint decision when you will have a joint decisions with the clarity about the finance i think family will have more harmony and happiness in your in your family and in your business now you settle in your family go back to your business family 
when I'm using the term business family means you have to think about your employee who are the part of your life without them your business cannot grow in that way you please communicate with them and here the communication means you have to connect with not only with your employee but with your with their family with their challenges help them to overcome their challenges working from home is not same as working from office in this crisis you have to support them you have to train them you have to uplift them you have to make them more capable see your employee they need your constant support and direction they are working in this kind of environment they need someone supervise supervision and that is lacking at their home at their different places so you create a help desk and that help desk will support them technically as well as emotionally see emotional help will develop a connectivity between you and your employee use your social capital once you are using your social capital you will be more closely connected with your executives with your employee with your worker with your market with your customer and with their satisfaction with their care they'll be giving you their 100% and at that moment you can have better speed better productivity when your speed in you know, to serve your customer will be higher that is the only key to success in this tough time because if you survive if you if you serve your customer at a better speed at a better quality they will definitely uh, come to you rather because everybody your competitor is also having the similar kind of challenges no one from on this world is um, uh, free from coronavirus so that will affect them so your speed your service your quality to your customer will help you to overcome these challenges on a faster basis well now we are clear what to do we are clear a common reason set the family set the business family now our focus should be on how we can reopen how we can restart the business after the lockdown the number of questions you can see from the slide we have to see occupational health and safety because the the way we were working before we cannot work now we have to think about it we have to educate our team about the safety measurement refine our travel plan because now traveling will be more dangerous for every individual we have to see the insurance of our employee because now they are working from home does our current policy cover their working from home or not if not please communicate with your insurance company and cover it see the government new rules after corona the working environment the offices everything is changed so how it is affecting to your business your offices please see to it and very important thing if any executive any worker is beyond 60 years working with you please you need to take special care for them because in this kind of situation 60 plus people are affected more and if you have more number of workers executives working in your uh, business you must have connectivity with nearby hospitals in case of any emergency you need to have a linkages to cope up with the situation very interesting thing that inside you have kept ready now you have to think if somebody is visiting your premises what care you need to take so you please design a policy for the visitors who are coming and entering to your business premises and about all these things you have to communicate to your all the stakeholders internal and external now your business premises is ready and reopen when you are reopening your door at that moment three risk will come to you and that you need to face on the day of reopening the number one is technical risk number two is financial risk and number three is your operating risk we let's see one by one the technical risk you have to see do you want to continue this situation for a longer time or a permanent basis if yes 
then you have to equip more with a better technology, with a better devices, with a backup facility, with a cyber security, with a data security. Because recently we all are using open sources. I don't know how long our data are saved. So we have to see and we have to create a help desk, technical help desk. We have to take advice of professionals who are sound in technology. The second challenge comes to us is the finance. Be careful what cash flow do we need to run the show. On the day of business or reopening of the business, I don't know what business, what demand, what market we will cover. But we have to pay our all working capital, working ex our operating expenses. Because our working capital cycle is now widened. You are on the one side, you are not able to collecting money from your customer, but you have to pay your workers, you have to pay other expenses on a regular basis. So to take care about your finance. And one very important, interesting thing when we are looking at the operating cycle is that you have to start your business. One data set recently published in India is say that all business will get back only 55% workforce. So you have to run the show with limited workers. You have to manage your demand, you have to manage your supply, you have to manage your logistic, you have to manage your inventory systems, production management, operating cycle. And to manage all these things, you have to design your new HR policies. Because you have to design the new performance criteria because people may be working from their home. So how do we measure their, their performance, their performance appraisal that needs to be taken care? And whom do we consider as absent? And whom do we consider as a present? And how long he is present on the job? That all issues are to be think, taken care in the HR policy. Well, with this background, now you have reopened your business with the strategy, with the mindset, with the common vision, with your all people and working together for survival. At this moment, what is the key for the success is communication, communication and communication. You have to communicate regularly, day in, regularly, day in and day out with your internal and external stakeholders because the situation are different. You might have planned something and you are working differently. So why you are working differently? What exactly happening in the business? You have to keep aware every individuals who are associated with you in your business. Your, that is your investor, that is your key employee, that is your family members, that is your extended family members who might not working in the business, but they are the part of the business. All this to be taken care and informed before taking any decisions and if there is any differences please resolve it and then you must have a contingency plan for the survival of the business and for the survival of the family and you, this is a plan for next normal with this background finally what you need to do is don't forget to connect with your industry association because in every industry, some good people are there who can see before change comes into the market. They are the person who know uh, awareness before change in the market. Try to understand their mindset. Try to understand their mindset and see government departments, government ministry, what kind of benefit and what kind of challenges do you have to face from government side. And of course, don't forget you will get so many support from government, maybe financial support and other tech supports in coming days. Well, with this background, it's a time to re uh, discuss by the time. The number one is assess the situation. Number two is gathering the data, facts finding, forget the rumors and list out your challenges. Minimize it, set your priorities based on importance and urgency. Develop a common vision, prepare a decision making process, strategy, inspire your team to take responsibility, take new work, check progress, contingent plan, 
if all these things put together i think tomorrow will be better but but prepare yourself even for the tough time to come for a longer days also so make yourself make your family your key employee ready i would like to complete my session with this quotation please see it's available on this slide